You know, I do believe on August 25th, when I looked at that photograph, I believe, in my personal opinion, my board certified skincare expert opinion, I really believe he was showing signs of COVID on August 25th. And that's what it looked like to me. And I'm gonna stand by that and I don't care what anybody says. Wow! my channel my name is Vivian and today we are going to take on Joe Rogan part two and the reason I wanted to do this in two parts is because I wanted to lay out what I see developing in his skin and what I am going to see in the future because his aging is very unique for somebody who is physically fit probably eats really well drinks plenty of fluid he probably does all the right things. And I do believe just that alone had an effect on the overall health and his um, rapid success in getting over COVID, for sure. Okay, so here we go. When I do an examine somebody's skin, I don't look at photos. I go to their videos because I wanna see when they talk, how their face moves, how they express themselves, how they look up, how they look down. If there's any little pocket or any movement of the face that I can see that can be problematic in the future. And that is why I take everything off videos because I can see the way the face structure moves and that is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for patterns in that structure, whether they be, there's, there's really three ways we age. We age behavioral, environmental, and genetics. So I'm looking for those three kinds of aging. And one of the things that I like to do is I actually like to look up parents. If I could find, a, and I couldn't find Joe Rogan's parents, because what I do then is I like to compare and see where the genetics are and rule that out and then so we can go on what is environmental and what is behavioral. And you would be surprised how much aging is behavioral and um, that most of it could have been eliminated by just changing a little behavior. So here we go, we're gonna jump right into it. And um, I, you know, I showed you this picture on my other video and this is Joe Rogan on the 25th of September. He was interviewing Rhonda Patrick, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, who I have seen before. She was probably one of the people that I did a little research on when I was figuring out my own anti-aging plan. But anyway, when I saw that picture for the first time, immediately I looked into his eyes and you can see the heaviness, the weightiness, the puffiness that was going on in his eyes. He could barely keep his eyes open. And it was it as if the entire podcast was done in slow motion. It was so interesting because um, I counted his blink times and he, it took him like almost 60 seconds to blink eight times. And he normally blinks eight times in about 10 to 20 seconds. So he was just taking the whole um, interview very slow. He almost had no expression on his face. He has a really strong forehead. So when he's really into an interview, you can really see his forehead going up and down. I mean, he's got this really strong forehead. And so it goes up and down and he only did it once in that entire video. And normally he's doing it all through a video, especially if he's engaged and he's having a good time. He's He has all these really interesting ways he moves his face. So, but in this particular podcast, 
he was again going in slow motion and that was the 25th of August. Then he came on and on September 1st, I had seen Andrew Cooper from CNN report that Joe Rogan had COVID. And then I found this, his Instagram post telling his subscribers, his friends, his, probably his family that he was diagnosed with COVID and he threw the kitchen sink at it. Ivermectin, prednisone, z -pack, everything. He, threw, he had this drip this vitamin drip or whatever he did. He did a ton of stuff. And it was really exciting because he goes on to tell, um, you know, how he was feeling. And on the 1st of September, he said he was feeling really good. That was the day that he posted this Instagram post. And on that Instagram post, you can still see, like I could still see, and I'm gonna very, specifically show you that you can still see the inflammation in his forehead. He starts moving his forehead a lot more than he did on the 25th. And you can see he's got such a heavy, strong brow that goes in like this. He's got this just strong brow, heavy forehead. And when he lifts his forehead, you can still see that it's kind of got inflammation underneath there, or I can see that it's got inflammation under there. And you can still see the bags under his eyes. He still looks kind of sleepy, but he probably is feeling really well. Well, what's really interesting, when I went to go look at that video on the 25th, and I think he even did one on the 26th, but the 26th, the filtering of that video was so much that it was really hard to look through all the filtering. So it was just annoying. So I just discounted that one. But on um, his Instagram post, you could see everything really clear. His signs of aging and really interesting, that vein that he has on the side of his face here which I'm gonna point out, he's got this vein, you can still see it in his Instagram um, photo, and uh, his Instagram post. Okay, so then I went on further and I was looking, doing my research and then there was this doctor that was scolding him because he felt that it was irresponsible for Joe Rogan to go on his Instagram post and let everybody know he was taking ivermectin. And it just became this huge brouhaha. And I wasn't even in gonna include what Joe Rogan took or didn't take, but this doctor really pissed me off. Let me tell you about doctors. My husband is actually, he's a compounding pharmacist. He went to USC, he got a doctorate degree in pharmacology. He's a brilliant guy. But if you put 10 dollars, and a lot of doctors are our friends, we have our family physician who takes care of all of us has been a colleague of my husband's for a very long time. This gentleman was also a pharmacist and then became a doctor. So we trust him really well. And um, what our doctor says and what this doctor says are two completely different things. You put 10 doctors in a room together, they're gonna diagnose COVID all differently, they're gonna treat it differently. They cannot even agree today. You can go look at 10 doctors on the internet and you'll have five saying r r go right, five saying go left. It doesn't matter. You don't even know who to listen to anybody today. And let me tell you, what would have been irresponsible, perhaps not even knowing Mr. Rogan myself, if Mr. Rogan did what you suggested and he died? That would have been irresponsible, but I'm sure Mr. Rogan had a physician that he listened to who knew his body, who knew what he was doing. So this guy pissed me off. And not only did he piss me off, he said there were no studies on ivermectin. Please, here they are. Here's two, my husband pulled up for me. Here's two uh, reports from ivermectin. I'm sure they're studies because my husband only, he reads the same medical research that everybody is, is looking after. Now, let me tell you, in our household, we do what we believe is right for us. We research anti-aging, we research the body. We, I take an enormous amount of time. Anybody who knows me will come in my kitchen anytime. It's a mess because I spend the most 
most of my time in the kitchen fixing food for my family. I won't let anybody else do it. I have a plan. My family is completely hydrated. I have a daughter who had leukemia, leukemia, three brain tumors, four strokes. She's got Moya Moya disease. And you know what? If you looked at her, you wouldn't even know she was sick. And that's the way we take care of ourselves. We are responsible for us. And I can tell you with the relationship my husband has with our family physician and who we listen to on the internet is Dr. Malone, who invented the um, vaccine component or whatever. These are the people we're gonna listen to. This guy is just another hack doctor out there giving his opinion. That's all it is. And it pissed me off. And one other thing I wanna make about this doctor is that if you look at his videos, in his videos at the bottom, he shut down all the comments. Yep, we, on all the other videos he has out there, he has all the comments down below. This particular video, he turned off the comments. What does that say about this guy? Okay, that's all I have to say about that. That is my rant about this doctor. Now let's get right into Joe Rogan and see what we've got. Okay, so here we go. I am going to take Mr. Rogan on uh, 2017. This is the first picture that I picked out because on the side of his face, Mr. Rogan has a vein. And you can't really see it, but when he talks, I can see it under the skin and you can see it moving. Okay, this vein, this spot is going to be there for his entire life. And as he becomes older, it's gonna come and it's gonna go and sometimes you're gonna see it, sometimes you're not, but then eventually it's just gonna be there, it's gonna stay there, and it's going to get larger. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanna look at because as we continue down these videos, you're gonna see that it no longer just looks like a little vein like this. It's gonna start sticking out, but you can see the shape of it here. Okay, so then we're going to take him to 2018. And in 2018, I took this picture of Mr. Rogan. Let me see if I can get it here. Okay, here it is. Okay, and here you go. He has a really calm forehead in this picture. You can only see this wrinkle happening here. His wrinkle right here above his forehead and the one, this 11 right here, or the one, the, it's a one, because I don't see the other one on the other side. But this, this line right here is gonna connect with this line right here. And then, but you right now in 2018, you can barely see it, it's not stained, it's also coming and going. And the line above that is hardly noticeable. You can barely see that vein on the side of his face but it really is you know it it really is pretty good but i just wanted to show you this picture because this picture shows his strong forehead and you can see what happens when he continually makes this motion with his forehead and eventually all those lines are going to stay in his forehead because he just has that um, movement in his face. He's very expressive. And one of the things I wanted to go into this photo, which is in 2020, so we're gonna jump from 2018 to 2020, is that this one, he just looks puffy. 2020, you're gonna see Mr. Rogan still has that really strong forehead, but what's really interesting with this photo, this is where in 2020, I really see the aging of Mr. Rogan happening. His face looks very puffy here. He, um, the, he's getting these tear troughs or these like, um, it's like a ledge you get here and then the, under eye bags get puffy. So you're gonna start seeing him look really puffy. And another thing is he's getting a heavier 
top brow. So many times the top brow will sit on the lower ledge of his eye. Okay, so what happens to the cells when you really start declining is the cells go into a state of senescence and they can no longer work the way they work. The, they can't communicate the way they're supposed to and um, they go into a decline and aging is gonna happen faster. So when you're like 20 to 30, aging kind of goes slow, 30 to 40, it goes a little fast, 40 to 50 goes a little faster, 50 to 60, it's rapid and on and on and on. It just like doubles, it goes so fast. So that's what I see here. I see Mr. Rogan really starting to go into um, a state of aging. Okay, so this picture I like I liked this picture right here because in this picture you can really see the puffiness in his face you can see the um the ledge on his above his brow you can also see in this picture that he is still the lines aren't embedded this is 2020 now the lines aren't too bad they're there they're not really visible like they're not shocking they're not you know slap me in the face kind of um it's called the static wrinkle it's the top one is not a static wrinkle but the bottom one definitely is starting to be a static wrinkle but what's happening now is that this one line here is connecting with the, the line that goes up and down is connecting with the line that goes across and then it's going to leave this like v-shape indentedness in this area right here so now let's continue and again you can see the puffiness around his face and you can also see on the side of his face he's starting to lose structure um he's starting maybe the collagen elastin fat pads are falling everything's starting to drop for mr rogan here so then when I went from 20, I did go to 21. I don't think I have those photos here, but I did go to 21. But let's just jump right in to his September 25th photos. And again, sleepy eyes. He, he's lost the integrity on the side of his face. He, this vein is starting to stick out. He's got another vein on his forehead that's going up to the top of his head. He's got um, these lines are embedded in his uh, forehead. It's just, he looks tired. And, it, and again, he looks like he's running in slow motion. Then let's fast forward. You know, you've got You've got August 25th, 26th, and 27th when he really doesn't know he's got COVID. I'm sure even the 27th, he must have been feeling a little tired. But on Saturday the 28th, he said he got a headache and he started to feel really run down. Sunday, he said Sunday the 29th, he felt really bad. And Monday, he said he started feeling better. Tuesday the 31st, he was even feeling better. Then he did the Instagram post on Wednesday the 1st, and he was feeling a lot better. But in that Wednesday Instagram post, you could still see the inflammation in his forehead. So, but he is on, he is on the road to recovery. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the road to recovery. So I don't care what anybody says about Mr. Rogan. He did what he felt he needed to do to get over this illness. He was going to throw the kitchen sink at it. And that's exactly what he did. Um, and by the night, he was in his studio doing another podcast on the night. And on the 9th, which is really interesting, you can literally see the health coming right back to his face. So Mr. Rogan didn't end up in a hospital. He didn't end up um, 
with lung problems, inflammatory issues. And this one doctor also made a comment that z -Pak didn't do anything, but my husband's a compounding pharmacist. He said z -Pak actually works on the inflammatory process. Um, I can't debate a doctor because I'm not a doctor. I am not a board certified physician. I am a board certified skincare specialist. Yes, that's who I am. But anyway, so this doctor just really pissed me off. But anyway, right here, Johnny Cash, she's wearing the Johnny Cash t-shirt. You can actually see the health coming back to his face. You can see the color coming back. His eyes aren't as puffy. They still are a little puffy. I do think that he's probably gonna have another month to get into real recovery mode. That's how slow it takes for inflammation to get out of the body. Now, COVID-19 is an inflammatory disease. Skin issues are inflammatory. Let me tell you, you take an injection, it creates an inflammatory process. You inject Botox, it creates inflammation. You scratch yourself, it creates inflammation. You eat a wrong food, it creates inflammation. There, whatever you do, there is a cause and effect to whatever you do to the body, and the effect is the inflammatory process. I know this because I have this daughter who has been dealing with inflammatory issues for her whole life, and that has been our whole life is dealing with the inflammatory process. And that is why it was so imperative for our family to do the research, to figure this out, to figure out really how, not only how to anti-age, but how to extend the life of our daughter. And that's what we did. And that is what the message I am gonna preach. And Mr. Rogan, you are on the road to recovery. And um, there is a way that you can actually turn the clock back. You need to go back to 50 years old and stay there. That is my recommendation to you. Um, otherwise, in two more years, your aging is going to multiply. It's gonna double in two years. And then two years from then, it's even gonna double more. That's the way the body works. It's just human nature. It will still take them about a month, maybe two, to get um, really um, back to normal. But when he gets back to normal, he's I'm sure he's gonna look fantastic, but he still will, um, uh, there will be tall tale signs that will be left over from this episode because that's how the body functions. And, um, We'll just keep on checking on him and see where he goes. But at this point, you know, I do believe on August 25th, when I looked at that pho photograph, I believe in my personal opinion, my board certified skincare expert opinion, I really believe he was showing signs of COVID on August 25th. And that's what it looked like to me. And I'm going to stand by that. And I don't care what anybody says. No, I don't care. But anyway, he's on the re he's on the road to recovery right now. It's going to take him a while, and um, I wish him the best. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications.